Thea, we believe, is an ancient planet that smashed into the Earth about four and a half billion years ago. It was probably around the size of Mars, and when it smashed into the Earth, it essentially demolished itself. It kicked up a lot of debris into space, along with some of the Earth. And over time, that debris coalesced together to form the Moon. One of the things about this research that does make it so exciting is not only is it helping to paint a picture of what happened to the Earth four and a half billion years ago, but also it's able to almost exactly pinpoint where this object came from. We're talking about a planet that doesn't exist anymore. Thea hasn't existed in four and a half billion years. It was completely vaporized, essentially. And yet, with a good amount of precision, we can figure out where it came from. Not only do we have this hypothesis about Thea and the formation of the moon, but now we can pinpoint to where in the solar system Thea originated from. So we're slowly filling in the gaps of a cosmic murder mystery. The only remnants we have are bits of rock that are embedded within the Earth and also that make up the Moon. So by studying those rocks and their chemical signatures, we can begin to paint a picture of where Thea came from. What we tend to find is that objects in different parts of the solar system will share similar isotope ratios. So if you can determine Thea's own isotope ratios, you can determine where it came from. In this case, it shares very similar ratios with objects in the inner solar system and a bit closer to the sun than we are. So that is why it's suspected Thea was probably closer to the sun than we are and that we are neighbors. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Gee, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. 